Hello viewers, uh, welcome to today's session and this, se this is a technical session and in this session we will uh, talk about a very useful uh, technique in uh, technical uh, area of Dynamics 365 and uh, for a brief I would like to just go to the accounts payable module and open all purchase orders page in which you will find the listing of all the purchase order under this legal entity USMF. So you can uh, find for example purchase order number, vendor account, vendor name, uh, purchase type, approval status in workflow and uh, the status of PO and uh, currency requested uh, receipt date, mode of delivery, delivery terms, other fields. So uh, if I want to for example uh, check this Fabricum Electronics purchase order from this vendor uh, and the total amount I need to go to the purchase order action pen and then click the totals uh, button it will open the form in which I can see the tax amount total tax amount the total gross amount and net amount and maybe charges all these information will be available under this form but sometimes it's very difficult to check uh, each of the PO if uh, for example in purchase department you want to have this total amount on uh, a list page so it is not available out of the box or as a standard feature so you need to have some functionality implemented in which you will basically implement this uh, uh, this uh, function there so that it is easy for procurement department or the buying agents to check the uh, total amount uh, while not clicking additional clicks and waiting and one by one you need to uh, check the total amount instead of it total amount will be shown on the list page so here you can see uh, this is subtotal and then we have total discount charges the, the landed cost or tax amount round off amounts and uh, cash discounts and other things available in this list page so this this is the total amount in which we are interested to show it on the list page instead of uh, going and clicking each time the total form uh, which takes also uh, some time so similarly similarly if you go to the account receivable uh, account receivable you find all sales order uh, list page where also this functionality is not available out of the box so how we need to implement this so basically uh, there is a uh, X++ plus uh, uh, feature called display methods. So display methods are the methods which replace the physical fields actually. Uh, when you don't, uh, do not need to have a physical field because this is a calculation type. So all the time, for example, in purchase order, there are 10 lines. All 10 lines, uh, the amount of all 10 lines will be summed up to show the total of purchase order. So physical field will not have it in uh, Dynamics 365 there is no physical field having a total amount on the header level of a PO or SO. So here also you can see the sales order list page is not showing any uh, total amount. So how to implement this uh, functionality? So basically you need to create a display method and display method is a calculated uh, field means uh, it is a simple X++ plus plus method which will return the calculated value so that you can display it on the list page so first of all uh, we need to know that this uh, uh, purchase order list page or the page of all purchase order behind it there is a purge table uh, uh, table so purge table list page so purge table list page this menu display menu, menu item we will see here the object type is form and the object uh, name is purge table so you can go to the purge table form by typing you can easily navigate directly and then you can uh, see here that the data source is purge table so data source belong to the purge table table itself so this purge table uh, the display method need to be implemented on the table level and then uh, we will uh, drop uh, a field while extending the purge table form and uh, on the design level we will uh, uh, rep uh, we will deploy the field or we will add the field field means the display method will uh, behave just like a physical field 
but you cannot put a filter on the display method. So first of all, we will uh, go ahead and create a new project. And that will be finance and operation project template. And I will use PKR, purge table, and purge totals. Purge totals display method. This will be the project name and first imp uh, first step is to associate it to a correct model that is PKR model here and click OK. So now uh, the project is in the right model and that model is already extending many modules so which we need to basically modify. So our first step here will be to go to the table called purge table which is the header table for the purchase order and purchase line is the line uh, table. So uh, no need to repeat that header will always have the common information well, whereas the lines will have different information. So this is the purchase table and for first of all what we need to do, what we need to achieve here. So uh, see here we have a view designer we don't uh, need to uh, open it in a design mode and view code then we have create extension create code extension so basically what we need to do it uh, here is not create extension create extension will allow you to add more fields into this table but we want to have a code basically uh, behind this uh, table so the code will be of a display method so I will create a code extension okay so the code extension is available now and first step will be to rename this instead of uh, the model name uh, we will put our exact project name first table purge totals and then under store uh, under underscore extension is the post uh, uh, word that need to be always there as a best practice I will uh, double click it and now you can see there is a final class and uh, that has already a decorator of extension of table purge table. So purge table will be locally available under this uh, in this class. So first step will be to uh, define the method itself. So what we need to do is we will just start typing the uh, declaration of our method and the access modified type will be public so that it is accessible outside of the class as well uh, because we need to use it in the form level so public and display is the keyword which is used for display methods and then the return type which will be the amount curve because we are interested in uh, the total purchase order amount and then there will be the mm, uh, method name and that is basically push total amount method name need to be camel case okay so this is the uh, uh, body of uh, this is the basically declaration of a method or the empty skeleton of uh, the method uh, here there is one uh, tip that uh, display methods usually are very heavy why because uh, it execute every time a query for each of the rows so there is a round trip made uh, to the database level each time uh, so that uh, uh, the value is calculated in order to uh, increase the performance is always uh, best practice to uh, cache our method so that the values calculated first time will be used and, and for the second time uh, no need of round trip so we will uh, make one decor we will declare one decorator here sys client cache uh, data method attribute sys client cache data method attribute and the value should be true data method attribute and value would be true okay so it means this method will only execute first time and then the values will be kept as uh, cache so that it is uh, the performance is improved okay now uh, what will be the uh, basic uh, uh, body of this method uh, basically there is a 
class called Perch Totals class, I can show you, which is basically used to calculate all the totals in inside the perch, uh, purchase order. So the class awareness is very important while you are working D three is five. So there is. You can see there is purchase total uh, parent class and then there are child classes on different levels. So first of all we will uh, declare the mm, this class purchase totals. Okay, the object will be a purchase purchase totals as well. And what we need to do is to first of all instantiate the object and then we have some static methods so the one in which we are interested in is new purge table the param table is basically on the uh, all the documents which are updated against the purchase order so we are interested in new purge table and here what we need to pass is the purge table itself on which it is being called so here since it is uh, you can see that uh, this is extension of purge table uh, uh, purge table class so here we have a reference of the purge table as this so this this will be the object uh, this will be the current uh, object of the purge table uh, purge table table so uh, the class behind this table so th this will be the this keyword will be the reference to the current instance uh, of purge table so it will be passed and then a new instance of purge totals will be instantiated okay so n the next step is very important because now after uh, it is inst uh, the instance is made we need to call a method called calc calc method so this calc method of this uh, instance or class will be calculating all the totals so once it is uh, uh, has calculated we need to return purge totals purge total amount so this will be the method which will be returning the total amount once it is calculated through this method so it will be having a total amount which will be returned so this is it this is the minimum display method uh, uh, implementation okay so we will save it okay once it is saved oh, then uh, the next step what we need to do is go to the form and create an extension for that form purge table form which is available in application suite so in your model if you have not reference uh, uh, the this application suite package you must also refer this one otherwise there will be uh, no option as a pop-up menu that uh, you can extend this form okay so here I can uh, have this create extension now because I want to uh, put two uh, put one field uh, which 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 will show the patch totals so here I need I can extend it but if it is not option is not available means in your model you have not referred it so I will just show you this is my model PKR model and I can go to the next and I can show you these are all the packages which I have referred in my model so that those objects are available uh, to refer in my uh, my model or project okay so what we need to do is now push ta table form I can create an extension now after extension of the form is created again I will rename it to project name after this I will double click the form extension okay once uh, uh, once the form is open the form extension is open then you need to navigate in the main tab and uh, then there is a tab page called uh, tab page grid and there you will find this uh, grid uh, control in grid control you will find existing uh, uh, controls field controls uh, these are out of the box so what we need to do is right click on the grid 
and add a real uh, control real is for the decimal value number you can go to the new okay then you can go to the alphabetically to the real control so a new real control has been placed so you can just rename it to purge total and uh, while uh, pressing alter key by key up you can move it a little bit above just after uh, the currency code okay now it is placed after uh, the currency code and save it also we need to f set up a few of the properties of this control real control and uh, first we will open the data source property and select the purge to table as data source secondly data method property this is for all the display method available on purge table uh, table so we will uh, click this lookup and find our uh, data method which we have just implemented if it is not shown you just need to build your project and once it is built so it will be shown so once the code is compiled you can uh, just uh, click the lookup on data method uh, property and then you can uh, just find here purge table uh, totals uh, display method okay once uh, data method uh, is selected then you can go to the label property okay and uh, give a name or you can just put total amount you can create a label code for this uh, okay once uh, it is saved you can just build again once it is built you can go ahead uh, to check your uh, changes on the list page level of uh, all purchase order okay once you have uh, refreshed the page you will see there is uh, another extra field available here as uh, total amount and which is showing basically total amount for each of the purchase order so this will be very useful for procurement department and other departments uh, like payable who wants to work on this page and they want to overview total amount field in the same page instead of clicking every time and once you uh, just check it is uh, it will be shown uh, the same uh, value in the total forms as well so you need to verify whatever technical features you are implementing that functionally or uh, accounting wise it is accurate so that is very important the second thing is once you load this page it will be little bit slow why because this is being calculated for all of the purchase order so the field i mean the total amount field is shown for all of the purchase order so here you can see 5149412 is the exact amount shown on this purchase order so you can randomly check any other uh, po as well to check the accuracy so this po has uh, 9999 so same amount is shown here so this is how we have implemented a display method to facilitate end user to check their uh, purchase order total amounts in the list page i'm hopeful this is very uh, useful technical session for the technical developer who wants to basically uh, uh, bring some useful uh, features for the end users thank you very much guys take care bye bye